Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, we're gonna to be reviewing a very, very high-tech scan tool. Now, this scan tool is probably one of the flagship scan tools you can buy from this company. And the company scan tool we're gonna be using is the Top Don, and this one is the Phoenix Plus. This is the top luxury and top spec diagnostics machine you can get from Top Don. I believe it's around 2,000 pound, maybe 1,500 pound, don't correct me on that, but I know it's over a thousand pound for the scan tool. Now they did send this out to me and this is the last one of theirs that they've sent to me before they create any more. This is their flagship device. This one does all the advanced ECU coding and everything you can think of. It's bi-directional, it can do the active test functions and everything is already free on their device. You don't have to pay for different manufacturers on that device if you buy this one. So we're gonna go to the bench I'm gonna show you everything that's inside the box and the packaging. Then we're gonna move on to the car. I'm gonna to have to connect the voltage stabilizer for this onto the F-Series purely because this one is gonna be quite technical and we're gonna go through all the different functions on this scan tool. So therefore, we're gonna be here for quite a bit showing you everything it can and can't do on the Phoenix Plus. So let's get onto the video and show you the Top Don Phoenix Plus scan tool. What? God damn, get it done with you. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes, cause his memories. We run into New York, so you know. So here we have it, guys. This is the Top Don Phoenix Plus. And as you can see there, it says combination for boost in effectiveness. Doesn't make sense, but anyway. And then you've got advanced ECU coding, active test, and 28 maintenance services. Now, if you can see, it is quite a big scan tool as well from the packaging. We just turn that around. You'll see here as well, shows you all the features. So you've got diagnosis, ECU coding, active test, all available systems, diagnosis, etc. Oil, SAS, BMS, TPMS, reset, throttle matching, etc. Covers over 120 plus vehicle brands across the globe. They put it as global. Simple step-by-step -step procedures at finger tips. One touch auto VIN smart automatic diagnosis. And it tells you all the design, two gigahertz, four core processor, 10.1 Android tablet, 6,000 milliamps an hour battery, four GB RAM and 64 gig on board memory. It is available in all the languages, English, French, Dutch, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, Japanese, and Russian. So if you are looking to buy this, you can see everything right there and see if it actually matches what you actually need. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. So we'll just open all the box and as you go to open it, if you see inside, it does come in a big case. Now, you see here, this is the case it's actually in. You can see that, and it's basically packaged just like an Autel system would be. Now, on first glance, a lot of people would think it's an Autel, especially if you looked at it from the back there, you wouldn't know any different. But it's packed in a hard case for actually safekeeping and to pull it away. That way none of it gets destroyed or damaged. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up. So what I'll do is just lay it flat. Now we're just gonna open the whole diagnostic machine up. And if you'll see there, that is the actual scan tool right here. Now, if we just open up all the flaps you'll see in here, we'll see what it comes with. So inside here, you've got your instruction books and obviously your activation code, as all these scan tools come with. Um, so that explains to you everything what it's gonna do. You also get all your different OBD adapters and also different fuses inside the pack, which you'll need um, for different coding in different cars. You also get all different leads for the coding as well on different cars as well. Each car is gonna be different and it's gonna wire and it's gonna require a different setup based on the coding and the diagnosis. So that's in the first one. Just put that back. In the second one here, you'll have all the other leads over here. So in here, you'll have all your USB leads. This is the kind of one you will need for BMW. You have a USB port for your actual OBD dongle, which is wireless, by the way. Um, you'll have all your other ones here to connect into. This will be for coding. It has to root a certain way to make it actually code, especially on the F series and G series. You also have here all your power supply outlets. So for instance, you've got your in-car charger in case you need to power it to power supply and keep it on a powered at all times while coding. This is why they give you this to actually power the car as well. And this links all up to this right here and then goes back into the dongle itself for any kind of coding or programming. This is what you will need and the system will tell you what it is you'll need for the different car. Now in this side, we'll just pull this out. 
you're gonna have all your plugs here. Now, most of these plugs will be for Mercedes. You've got your power, power adapter in here as well to charge, obviously, your actual top don unit itself. You've got all these OBD plugs here. This is gonna be for vans, cars, trucks, whatever it is you're gonna plug it up to. But I believe this one is for Mercedes right here, this big one, I know that from doing it. Um, and you've also got the other ones here. So you're gonna have everything you need to be able to do it. And it is correct, it is for Benz, as you see there, BZ38. So that is for Mercedes. So now what we'll go ahead and do is just take out this dongle. Now this can be a bit stiff in here. They have got it locked down. And if you'll see there, that is the dongle you'll be using at all times for your programming, coding and diagnostics. Now, if you see there, it's got a plug-in USB device, which it will ask for if it's required on the car you're programming, coding or running diagnostics on. You'll have to plug in the lead and it will show you on the tablet device itself how to connect it all up. Now, that's the device you just use. It is wireless, so you can go anywhere with it and you'll just plug this into the car and then it will just read and do whatever you need to do while you're away from the car. Now, under here, we've also got tablet itself now the tablet is quite big quite heavy I'm just going to take it out of this packaging and you'll see there that's the top on device now if you look at the back here this one's got a camera and it's also got room for attachments as well which top on are going to be releasing later on for this device but you see it's got all the attachments and I'm not sure yet but think cars attachments may work for the top on device also We'll have to wait and find out if it will be, but I haven't, I haven't had confirmation yet from Top Don saying they've released any attachments for this device. Now on the back, you do get a kickstand. You'll see here, you can kickstand it and you can actually just stand it up like that all the, all the time if you really wanted to while you're doing diagnostics or on the car. We'll go ahead and just turn it on so you guys can see everything. So as you can see, it's now powering up. So we've got that all powering up on the screen itself. And I'm just gonna run through the function before we connect it to the car so you guys can get a good look at the layout and the UI before we move on to the car with it. Now, one thing I do like as well is these rugged grips around here. So if you drop it, you can see it's all rubber protected so it won't smash the screen, it will bounce. That's another good feature that Top Don have put on this so you won't damage your device. And also just to make you guys aware, it's also got a screen protector. So therefore, you will have to remove that if you wish to when you actually buy the device, but you don't have to. Now, if you can see here on the device, it's much different to the Top Don RT Diag 800 BT. On here, you've got the local diagnosis. You've also got intelligent diagnosis. You've got the maintenance, which will be all your maintenance resets. So you've also got remote diagnosis, which means they can either access you or you can access them remotely from this device and check the um, diagnosis on their car. You also got upgrade, that'll be to upgrade, obviously the system and all the manufacturers and softwares and everything else that you're gonna have on here. You've also got your RT folder where you can store whatever you need to store on the tablet, uh, many bodies, car info, coding info, anything you need to do. You've also got the repair info as well on there so you can store all the repair info. So for instance, if you have a customer and you wanna show them um, anything on the car and they're not gonna be safe for another week, obviously you've already scanned the car, you can store it there and then show them or send it to them whatever you prefer. You've also got feedback, so you can leave feedback. You've also got the user info as well on there if you need to access that. Now, if we just click the maintenance functions, you'll see it load, and you can see all the maintenance functions that this scan tool actually has. Now, I'll just zoom in a bit, just so you guys can see. And if you can read all the service functions there, you have got a lot more than the top Don RT Gaiag 800BT. Um, there's got a lot of different things, and it's all laid out a lot better than what it is on the top Don. You got to think this is 1500 pound scanner compared to 500 pound scanner so on this you've got your windows tire transport mode sus sun which will be sunroof start stop seats trip meter so your odometer or combi your knock sensor language injectors imo which will be your keys it can do certain keys for certain cars gearbox gear egr column airbag afs add blue dpf tpms efs bleeding BMS, SAS, oil, brake, and AF. So you've got all the functions you're ever gonna need on all the different cars. Now, if we just click back, we do intelligent diagnostics, you'll see here, this is what you'd use to scan the cars in. Now, that function, intelligent diagnosis, I strongly recommend if you have a garage, to scan the cars in to check for the fault codes because a lot of customers won't believe it's their vehicle unless they see their VIN and it shows their car. Therefore, when you do click to diagnose their car, I would strongly recommend you do it with intelligent diagnosis. One, it can find everything on the car. 
two, it can source everything by the VIN, which is really, really good for coding. If you want to code anything, it's good for it to do it by intelligent diagnosis to work out what is there on the vehicle order on any car so it knows the different functions it can code or it will think the car is different and code whatever it is which the car don't actually have and give you wrong information. That's what intelligent diagnosis is actually for. Now, if we go to local diagnosis, you'll see here we've got all the car um, manufacturers here. Now you have got demo if you want to demo it as well, but you can see here it can do all cars. You can do all the manufacturers right here. It's also got American, European, Asian, and Chinese. Then you've got all the different manufacturers here. So you've got Ford Europe, FAW, never even heard of that. Fiat Brazil, Ferrari, GAZ, Geely, GWM. Now, bearing in mind half these cars you probably wouldn't have heard of and neither would I have heard of. But it just goes to show you that this car's on here, that this has every single manufacturer that you've never even been aware of. And this is why it is a really, really good scan tool because this is the highest amount of cars I've ever seen on any scan tool. I don't even think Alltel's got this many on their system. But this has a hell of a lot of um, different cars. You've got Tata, Tata India, so you can use it in all the countries. It doesn't matter what make, what model car you have, this will work. This one does do the advanced ECU coding. This one does do all the diagnostics. This one is bi-directional. This one will do everything you need it to do. Now, if we're going to remote diagnosis as well, you can see here it will load up TeamViewer. So basically what this will do is if you're having problems with your device, Top Don can actually remotely log in to the computer to check it. Or for instance, if you are a garage owner in your way, and say one of your tech team needs you to log in to the car to check the diagnostics report because they're not sure of something, they can let you log in. Or for instance, if you've got only one person who knows how to use this machine in your workshop and they're at home or sick, they can easily log in and do remote diagnostics. They're all the person has to do is just plug it to the car and they can do everything else via the system while not even being there. That's how good this system actually is. And that's why Top Dom actually put this in their devices. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is we're now just gonna connect this up to the car so I can show you all the different functions this tool can actually do. Now what I'll do is I'm just gonna connect up the dongle cause it's wireless, I don't need to be near the car. We'll just connect the dongle up and I'll leave you sitting here while you watch actual the screen because that's all you really need to watch. And we will connect this to the car so then that way you can see all the different functions, fault codes and anything else you wanna see or how this tool actually works. Okay, so now we've got the ignition on and we've got the dongle plugged up inside the car in the OBD port. What we're gonna go ahead and do is click the local diagnostics. Then we're gonna click BMW. And if you'll see there, it tells you everything you need to know. It's added new features to it with the updates. It's added the service record function. It's rectified the failure to exit during the execution process. Reading ECU information, so they fixed a lot of issues. Now it says summary for the covered special functions. We're coding after replacing ECU recoding change ECU settings, information, delete transport mode, uh, functions of key test, display status of all keys, steering angle sensor calibration. So you see here, we've got a lot of different um, things now has been updated. So we're gonna click is okay. Then it'll connect to the Bluetooth. And as you see there, it's now gonna load. And if you can see there, we've also got all the settings just come up. So right now we've got automatically search. We've got special function, ADAS calibration function help anti-theft system. So if we can go to special function, we just click, it's a one series, it's an F20, and you'll see all the different settings we've got in there that we can do CBS reset, steering angle learning, brake pad change, check control message and throttle learning. We're not gonna have to do any of that. So we just click back and back again, and back again. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is click coding and program, because I know it's what a lot of you will be interested in. We're gonna click one series, F20, coding and programming. Now if you see here, we've got all different functions. We've even got retrofit. So if we do get in the VIM, get an integration level, get in the mileage information, you can see here, it gathers everything on the car, the mileage and everything. Now, if we click next, the target data status is older than the current data status. Are you sure you want to continue? So we'll click no, because I've already done that. But you can easily see, you can do personalization in the coding, so you can customize all your coding and change that and things around. So we're going to personalization. And if we just click next, so we'll just click yes. So we'll just get the getting the vehicle detail configuration information. And if you can see there, we've got all different functions here that we can do. So we can change all the settings in these control modules if we really wanted to. So for instance, if we wanted to go um, into the active sound design, 
we'll see here, we can see function selection. To avoid data loss due to improper operation, first select backup data function, so it'll tell you, see, so you can back up the vehicle coding data for the current system and restore the backup vehicle coding data. So we're not gonna do any of that, but you get an idea of what you can do in here. You can play about with all the functions and code different things into the car. I don't need to code anything as my car's already been coded, but you can also see you can do retrofits. So if you wanted to use this for retrofits as well, you can do that. And this is the good thing about these Chinese devices. I know a lot of people humiliate or custom, but to be fair, China is the best person to allow you to do all this kind of stuff and they don't restrict you. So if we just click yes on that and click continue, We'll then load up what kind of retrofits it would allow us to do on this scan tool as well and code it all in for us. So we'll just have a look here once it all loads up all the information. So you'll see here, we've got vehicle order change, which means right into the VO, battery change or self-defined modification. So if we do vehicle order change, you can see it says switch off ignition, wait approximately 10 seconds, switch on ignition again, continue next step. We don't need to do that. So you can change the VO with this system as well. You can also do battery change and self-defined modification. So if you wanted to change the coding yourself, you can do that. So you can see here, it can do a lot of different things. Now we're just gonna come out of the coding and programming function because we're not gonna be doing that, but you get to drift of what this thing can actually do. So now if we just go to automatically search, it will find the vehicle now by the VIM and let us see all the fault codes. So we'll click next on that one. And you get a drift of now how powerful this tool can actually be. You've seen all the functions it can actually do. And if you see here now, it's gonna scan all the control units on the car and let me know if there's any fault codes and it'll pick up anything on the car. It does pick up the VIN, the mileage and everything else on the series of the car while you're actually doing this. So if you'll see there, we're now just gonna do health report. So we'll just do a health report. So it scans all the modules. So you see there, it's got two fault codes which I think are because of when I actually changed a lot of parts on the car. They're still there and they haven't been cleared. So we, they haven't got no full code on the car. So I think they're just picking up short circuits. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, you see here, there's no other codes. And if many of you are probably wondering where I had all the wrong version codes in here, they've all gone now because I've actually coded the car, corrected all the coding for the modules on the F-Series as well. So I don't have that no more. So what we'll do here, we can either click enter and we can enter them and find out more information about them and we can click continue. And then what we can do here is read the full codes and you'll see that it's intermittent, so it's not constant on there. So therefore there's not really an issue with the sensors itself. Now, if you see here, we've got actuation test, which is what I told you, it's got bi-directional testing. So you can do call in air routing if fitted and you can click general. You can check the electric fan and everything inside here. So it is a bi-directional scanner charging. You can check the blow off valve exhaust injectors. You can turn them on and off or you can delete the fault memory. Now, you can see here, there's got a lot of different functions in here. You've also got a special function which you can go into and you can do all the adaptions as well on the engine and you will also be able to do this on the gearbox. This is not just limited to the DMA. So you do get to see that you can do this on a lot of different modules. This tool is very, very powerful and it can do basically every single need you need on your car, regardless what car you actually do this on. This tool is extremely powerful and it does coding for all different manufacturers, makes and models. So we're just gonna go ahead and clear the DTCs now, and you'll see it clear all the fault codes out of the computer itself, therefore making it all brand new again. Then we'll run another health report and check it. Now, if you can see here, it does tell you after this procedure finishes, there may still be a warning light or fault code displayed until the vehicle has been completely on the road test and the ignition switched off for 10 seconds and on. So we'll just click okay. Now what we'll do is rescan the car to make sure there's no codes inside the car. And if you can see there, all the modules will now report back green. As I said to you, the wrong versions that you would have seen before have all disappeared and that's purely because, as I said, I've corrected all the coding on all the retrofit parts I have on the car. They've now got all the correct code and everything's correct and therefore they will not show, you won't even notice there's a retrofit even been done on the car. But this just goes to show you how powerful this tool can actually really be. And as you see there, it's got so many different useful functions. You've seen the coding and programming, it can work. I don't need to do that, but I'm, I do know it works really, really well from what other people have said and Top Dom have told me themselves they would not have sent me this if they didn't believe it could work. They know it works really, really, really well and they've got garages using this. If you look it up online, a lot of workshops are the only ones actually using this scan tool, but it's a really, really powerful scan tool and the license is free with it. You do not have to pay any subscription or any yearly cost for this. You pay for the device and you get all these functions completely free straight away for all the different manufacturers. So you won't be left without one of them or not being able to do a certain manufacturer. So there you have it guys. That is the Top Don Phoenix Plus scan tool 
with the advanced ECU coding function and this is a brilliant, brilliant piece of kit. Yes, it's expensive, but it's mostly aimed at workshops and people who are doing more than just a normal DIY from home with a lot of different cars and who want something that can do it all with the ease of use and not having to use e-system or disc coding tool or VAGCOM. You can do it all with this simple scan tool and be able to do everything you can do on the main dealer software and programs. Okay guys, so as you would have seen there, I've just reviewed the Top Don Phoenix Plus scan tool. Now this scan tool is a really, really good scan tool and very, very powerful. And if you are in the market looking for a powerful scan tool that can do it all, I strongly recommend the Top Don Phoenix Plus scan tool. This is really, really powerful indeed. Yes, it's expensive, but you just think how much you're gonna save in the long run. You'll be able to code, program, and diagnose every single manufacturer around the world with no issues, just with this simple scan tool. I do not believe there is any charge. If any, I think you just buy the scan tool and it's got all functions, activate, you just update and be done with. You do not have to buy different manufacturers to use this tool. It's all unlocked with the one price. I will link it in my description below and I'll also pin it to comments if you guys wanna go and check it out or you do wanna purchase it. This is Top Don's highest tech product you can buy. And like I say, it was sent to me and I told them I would do the review, which I have done today. So if you guys wanna go and check it out, like I say, go and check it out and see what you think. But I've shown you all the functions it can do on the BMW F series, and there could be a lot more it can do on other manufacturers. Just depends on the limitations. Like I say, this is not stopped at just one manufacturer. It will work on all cars with an OBD port, regardless, make a model. You can still use it on your BMW E39, even on your E36 as well. All the plugs are there, ready to go to diagnose any car on the market. So if you are wanting to buy it and you don't know if it'll work with your car, it will work on your car. So I just wanna say thanks to Daisy for actually sending me that product and I hope you guys have actually enjoyed this video. I will be using this tool a lot more during a lot of different videos that we do here on the channel. So thank you very much for watching this BMW Dr. Dean here. And as I said, this tool was sent to me by Daisy at Top Don. And I just wanna give a big shout out to her also. So thank you very much guys and goodbye.